Tink and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, Tink, Tink, hey, how you doing? So, y'all, me and the kids is in the car. Good. See everybody, they go to jail. Been a long time since you see me. Stop yes. talking like that. Holy so, y'all, we finna get ready to, um, tomorrow is Mother's Day, so we finna get ready to, um, gotta go pick up my grandmama her stuff uh, that we got collectively as a family. Then I need to go and get some mama gift. I know I'm late. And then me and the kids gonna go out and grab a bite to eat. And then we gotta pick Michael up whenever he's ready. So we kinda got like a busy day, y'all. So come on. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Oh, Ooh, y'all. Okay. Let me turn my head down. It's hot out here today. So y'all, we back in the car. We are in we at Stonecrest actually. We finna get ready to leave now. Um what we ended up getting was me, my mom. Beverly and Michael got my grandma a gift from Pandora. We all went out on her bracelet and stuff, so and some charms. So this is her gift. And then I got my mom. I this is my gift to my mom. Uh, she already have a Pandora bracelet she got for her birthday, so I got her um uh, little Mother's Day charms and stuff, whatever. So now because I was gonna try to get her some other stuff, but honey, whoo! The way this here mall and all these stores are set up because I waited so late because I really didn't have no time to go and get anything earlier simply because during the week I have been busy. Robert hasn't been home, so I don't have nobody to keep the kids for me while I run out. So they're with me and doing stuff during the week, practice and stuff like that. So it's like I did not have any time during the week. Then on the weekends, it's like it has been stuff, things after things after things that I have to do on the weekend. Like last weekend, it was my family went to the wine tour. The weekend before that it was my mom's birthday. Weekend before that, um, I was getting with my best friend for her birthday. It was like it's it's been a busy, busy couple of weeks. And so today I had to go, and I'm talking about it is packed out here. So I still need to go into the store. The boys want to go into the store too, so I'm probably gonna end up into like Walmart. Some I I don't want to. Um, I end up being out there early in the morning. Um, because Michael actually has to work early in the morning, so I'm gonna take him. And then yeah, probably head up to Walmart or something to get like a card and stuff. But yep, yeah, yeah, that's all that's going on. We finna go get us something to eat. Um, I'm thinking I want us to go sit down and eat today, but how busy it is right here i know the restaurant stuff is gonna be real packed and busy so i don't even know if we're gonna be able to go and sit down and eat for lunch hopefully we will if not then i'm probably just gonna have to get some stuff to cook at home or go get a seafood bag or something. Stuff in your mouth. you've been stuck you've been eating them just as much as he has well, I, no he's doing this he's doing this and just like um. that's what got a lot of stuff on they got some popcorn from one of the places in there are they Oh, I'm gonna put these back here. Hold on. Okay. I touched my fingers. Y'all, too. Chill out. Time to start always touching me every time. If y'all, RJ, you're not in control of that popcorn, I will take it. I'm doing this so they have some. You barely. I always want to be bossy. Touch All right, y'all. Let me go on here and figure out what we're finna eat for lunch and chill out for the day. It's just me and the kids. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what we're gonna do. Like, why you keep laying down on this table? Too low off and Keep doing that house. He's still sleeping. He was sleeping in the car, so I had to wake him up so we can come in. That's why he laying down, y'all. And me, he woke me up. <laughs> he up now. He's feeling good now. Here you go. Finish talking. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them, y'all. Say hey. Star! Happy Mother's Day! 
Well, by the time y'all get this, it's gonna pass Mother's Day. But happy Mother's Day, y'all. Hey, two takes. <laughs> Beverly. You better not. I want a picture with all. <laughs> I want to ask my Hey, take it. Yeah, when he get here. Yeah. Michael. Michael. Okay. Because I want a picture. Where's Jacob at? Say hey. Are they sleep? Hey y'all, I'm Martika and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning Tink Tink, hey, how you doing? So y'all, Robert with me. We finna get ready to go on a couple's weekend. So y'all, come on, so y'all can enjoy the weekend with us. Hey. Robert and our friends we're on like a little mini couples weekend so yeah we in our Airbnb I'm gonna show y'all how everything looks all right this is where me and Robert gonna be on this side this is the tub this is the shower it's really pretty this is the mirror, look at that. Boom, boom, I like a little boy today. Let me turn on some lights. <laughs> Living room area. Table. It got two guest rooms, but nobody's gonna be over there. I mean, this is the guest bathroom. Nobody's gonna use it. Hmm. I guess I missed all the issues. Oh, here they go. Miss the kitchen. This is the little outside area. Got a little table, some lawn chairs, sofa, the pool. And the hot tub, we haven't turned it on yet though. We're gonna do that in a minute. It's like it's gonna rain, y'all. On this side is where Chanel and her husband is gonna be. We go. And they got a door that goes straight into the, I think it's right there. Go straight into the pool area. What's that? You in there? Mm -mm, garage over there. It's locked in the way. No, I think he's talking about it. In the pool area. It is. All right, y'all. So y'all not seen the little walkthrough of the little spot. So now we finna get ready to, I guess, get dressed and stuff like that, just in case, you know, because we're supposed to go out for dinner tonight. Um, but we also finna get ready to have some drinks. But I'm gonna do my makeup and stuff so I can be ready for tonight. But yeah, y'all, come on. <sighs> All right, y'all. We figure we go for dinner. This is a little outfit. I don't have my purse though, but this is like the little outfit I'm wearing. Can't really get the full feel of it. But it's like a little short romper. I do. I got some just some little heels. And then I got a purse that matched the heels. <sighs> I don't like the way it gap open right there. There we go. Hey y'all, so it is actually day one of our little quote unquote couples trip. 
Disaster. Oh Lord, disaster. Okay. Let me tell y'all what happened. I came on here with this girl, Chanel. Me and her. She was one of my best friends. That was well, somebody who I considered. Let me say that as a best friend. Things have been rocking with us off and on for a minute. When I got pregnant with Jacob, she cut me off. Okay. I didn't talk to her for about five, six months. And I told her I was pregnant. We stopped talking instantly. But we got over that, so I thought. Well, tonight, we went on a trip. It was me, her, her husband, my husband. Y'all... I started noticing it's kind of a little weird or whatever. Um, early in the day, when we was taking pictures and stuff, didn't really pay no attention to it. Whatever, you know, whatever, you know, it's whatever. So we're not to eat. We didn't really talk. I started noticing a little bit of funny activity then. But anyway, we're gonna move fast forward to when we at home. Y'all, we start playing Never Have I Ever. If I was taking shots, the question was, Never Have I Ever had sex at my best friend's house. At a best friend's house. Everybody, you know, shot or not shot, whatever. She says, mm, I don't have a best friend. I ain't never had a best friend, so, nope. I said... Oh, that's how you feel? Whatever, Martika. Uh, that was past. Since I said, no, it wasn't past. The question, I said, yeah, the question was said, but you said I don't have a best friend, so no. She's like, it's whatever. You already know how I'm coming. So I was like, wait a minute. You already know how I'm coming. And in my head, those are fighting words. I know I'm too old, but when somebody say, you know how I'm coming, that's like, Bitches, whatever. That's that's what I translate. It was like, you already know how I'm coming equals bitches, whatever. So I was immediately taken aback. I was like, er? like music was playing, and this shit stopped instantly. So we got to a little argument or whatever. But then she brought up my other best friend. Keep in mind, my other best friend never says anything about her. Me and my other best friend have been best friends for half of my life. I met her when I was 14 years old. I do not sit there and try to compare, compete, none of that kind of stuff when it comes to them because it's two different levels. You know what I'm saying? Honey, she was like, bitch, you ain't never been shit. You ain't shit. The only time you around her, whatever, is when you got stuff. When you don't have shit, then that's when you want to be my friend. I'm like, damn, that's how you feel? First of all, I had to correct. So I was like, um, I ain't never been without shit. Let's correct this shit right now. When you said and when you going through, that's when you're gonna talk to me. First of all, that's not the case because I talked to you throughout the whole entire year. Okay? But for you to sit there and try to come at me like that, I'm like, oh, that damn, that's how she feel. I'm, honey, I'm all kind of nothing bitches and this, that, and other. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, well, she drunk. I tried to chop this shit up and she drunk. All the while, I'm saying like, nah, drunk man words, sober man thoughts. I'm like, I ain't disrespecting you, don't disrespect me. I ain't calling you out your name, bitch, fuck you, you ain't shit. I'm like, damn, this really how you feel. This bitch fucked around and wish me. Then, after that, like I said, ain't no coming back from that. Ain't no coming back from it. Because, hey, Robert. When she missed me, of course, I was ready to take a fucking head off. Because at that point, I don't care how mad you get at somebody. When you, quote unquote, love that person. Or you look at that person as a family member. Or as a friend. Or as a love from whatever it is. And you have respect or love for that person. you It don't matter how mad you get. You don't put your hands on them. And that's period, point blank. Okay? So when she put her hands on me, when she missed me. That shit was like. You said, bitch, fuck you. 
And it made me mad because when I tried to get at her and I really tried to fucking get at her, like I was running, we at the pool, I'm really trying to fucking get at her. Robert really made me mad because he really grabbed me and pinned me against the fucking wall. Grant, remember, I'm 4'11, Robert is 5, I'm 4'11, Robert is 6'2. So 4'11, 6'2. Y'all know Robert's size, my size. I'm 172 pounds. He is three some. It wasn't going. Okay, he had me against the wall, pent up. And I had to go off on him. Like I told him, I said, don't you ever in your life allow somebody to put their hands on me and you keep me from getting to them because now me and you got a problem because that was disrespectful on so many levels. If somebody ever touched you, I would let you get at them and I'd be right beside you decking their ass too. Don't ever let nobody disrespect your wife like that. So me and him had a little issue. But y'all, it, it's been a night. And even with that, because we done lost with our money, I immediately tried to be the bigger person. I said, you know what? It is what it is. When we get back home, we ain't got to ever talk no more. Because that's my fault. Because when shit was coming up, I kept overlooking it. Because I know how I am. And I don't trust people often. So I had two friends hurrying her in. And I wanted to hold on to that. And that shit hurt. It hurt me like hell when I was pregnant. I damn near went through a fucking depression. But tonight, you put your hands on me. You call me all kind of bitches. Oh, ain't shit, bitch. And this, the another. I can't get with that. I can't play that. I said, okay. We done all paid our money. We gonna get through this shit tonight. At least for the rest of this, this weekend. We back calm. It is whatever. You ain't gotta be cordial. We, I ain't gonna be cordial, bitch. Fuck you. Just, just. I'm like, oh my God. Still going. Still going. You don't care about nobody but yourself. You ain't shit. Okay. Oh, honey. I'm talking about my very respectful. And I had to say, I'm like, first of all, I feel like you feel like I'm a hoe. Like, that you can come at me like this. But understand something. I understand you a little tipsy. You've been drinking. Where I haven't been drinking as much. But I don't ever feel like there's no hole in my blood. And I really feel like it. I feel like she took it as I had hole in my blood. Which I think. Because she just kept on. Oh, bitch, I mushed you up. And I was mad because I'm going to help you back. I can't get over it. I know some people gonna say I'm petty, but I'm 31 years old with three kids. I don't have time to be beefing with nobody. I can argue with you. We can disagree or agree to disagree, whatever you want to call it. But when you put your hands on somebody, that's the ultimate disrespect. Bitch, in my book, that's that's equivalent to you spending on me. So yeah. Mm -mm. I'm pissed off because we have a whole fucking weekend of this shit. And I gotta figure out how to fucking cause this. I swear y'all, if it ain't one thing, it's another. But the second I start acting like a bitch, the second I start treating people how they treat me, then it's a problem. The second I say fuck it, it's a problem. That's what I get. I'm over here trying to be damn Andy from Toy Story. You got a friend in me over here being nice to motherfuckers when the whole time they don't even like me. Because my thing is this. The shit was so random. I'm like, I'm like damn, you really was hovering feelings about me because I was a whole bunch of ain't shit, bitch. Bitch, you worthless. Fuck you, bitch. All kind of shit. I'm like, damn. That's really how you feel about me? Oh shit. Bitch, you don't care about nobody but yourself. I don't care about nobody but myself. But whenever you need me, I'm there. When you needed me for your baby, I was there. When you were going whenever you're going through something and you don't have nobody, I'm there. But I ain't shit and I don't care about nobody but myself. That's how people do you. That's how they do you. Mm mm mm. -mm. 
And people wonder why I took a break from YouTube. Because when I'm going through shit, I'm trying to build myself back up. I feel like I'm in a good space. I started vlogging again. I haven't uploaded yet. But I started vlogging. It's only for a motherfucker to come at me sideways again. This video might not be monetized, by the way. Whatever. I'm gonna still upload it just because. And I had to tell Robert. I had to cuss him out for stopping me. Because when I felt that damn motion on my head, when I felt the mush, I felt the the wind beneath my hairs, beneath my inches. She became a goddamn crackhead on the goddamn street. Or trying to damn take my purse or something. I don't know you no know, more. And he held me up against the fucking wall. That shit had me hot. I went off on him about that. I went off on him about that. When it was just me and him. I can't keep doing this. My thing is I need to get my shit together. <sighs> yeah. So needless to say, I'm over here in a different room. They over there in the goddamn room. But even after that, if I cool down, I tried to make a man, not make a man, I tried to be cordial and say, let's just get through this trip. Even if she kept disrespect me, tell me, fuck me, she ain't gotta get through nothing, she ain't gotta be cordial. I'm still trying to be cordial. But I do want to say this. It's nighttime. It is 1.44. Oh, shit. I'm not messaging me this time. We'll be coming on storage, y'all. Disregard. Anyway. Um... I ain't gonna take, I'm not gonna take no more disrespect. I already had a conversation with Robert, like I said. And he gonna understand. Just stay the F out my way. If things escalate. If things escalate. I'm hoping to have a good trip. Enjoy the rest of my trip with me and my husband. We get home to my kids. But if I gotta lay hands on somebody, that's what I'm doing. Because the first round, it was me being respectful. Me understanding that you drinking. Moving forward, I don't care if y'all have that alcohol poisoning. You touch me. All bits is off. So if y'all catch me on the shade room, I told you first. Ooh. All right, y'all. It is day two. This is my outfit. I got um. We finna go to the beach. So I just have on the little black maxi dress, some little sandals ankle bracelets and then my swimming suit uh i don't really want to take it off but it's a uh -oh. my swimming suit is like animal print and then the pants the bottom is matching it but we're finna go to the beach um i think i'm leaving my my camera hold on uh-oh can y'all see me let me open up some belongings Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right, y'all. So we finna get ready to go to the beach now. Um, I already showed y'all what I got on. Hopefully today is a good day because you know, considering the chain of events that didn't happen, I just got to make the best of the situation and enjoy myself because it's not right that Robert got to be here and it's awkward. 
but um i'm finna go ahead and pack my little beach bag or whatever i'm gonna leave my camera here only because you know if i'm in the water or doing something i don't want to be concerned with my camera plus um i don't have like a real real beach bag i got this little netted beach bag so i don't want to say i'm getting my camera so i'm gonna leave my camera here and um i'm gonna bring y'all to dinner if we do dinner tonight i don't know how that's gonna work because i feel like dinner will be awkward as hell but pray for me honey we're gonna enjoy the rest of our day that's all we're gonna do enjoy the rest of this trip i mean all right sorry back all right y'all we back from we went to the beach today and then after the beach, we went out to eat. I did not get to show y'all um, my outfit that I wore out to eat, but I'm finna get in the pool. So I'm gonna show y'all really quick what I'm wearing to the pool. Okay. This is just something simple. This and then the bottoms. all right y'all so i'm actually editing my video from the trip i realized that i did not close it out nor did i finish vlogging the rest of the trip because given the chain of events that had happened on the first day i just lost all my my inspiration to finish vlogging the trip because it was basically phony like just trying to get through whatever, whatever. so yeah i'm sorry about that y'all because i really did have good intentions on vlogging and you know everything but things happened and i was unable to do it however for those who follow me on like um instagram or facebook um i did post like pictures and stuff like that like on the vlog i only uploaded one swimsuit i actually had like five of them but i think on, on facebook i only uploaded two i uploaded one and i had one on my story plus this one so you have to follow me on like social media to kind of get clips of the trip like i had my food i had my swimsuits um, and stuff like that outfits that i had wore all that stuff was on my social media but yes, y'all. Uh, uh Hi. come on, y'all. Y'all wet, and I'm trying to record. Jacob, stop! Oh, he over here pinching me. That was cool. Hold on, finish playing, boo. But yeah, so I did not. What's up? You can't be hitting me. I'm not picking you up. You wet. You wet, boo. Go play, Jacob. Okay. But yeah, so I did not finish vlogging the, the trip or whatever, and that's unfortunate. Um, after that first night, it was no more arguing or nothing like that. We just basically coexist. She stayed in her lane, I stayed in mine. We didn't talk to each other, but we did talk like around each other, you know, to, you know, my husband, her husband, and, you know, we just made the best of a fucked up situation. Um, Stop it. Love. Jacob, you can't be touching on it. Okay, just put it put it back in there. Uh oh yeah, my bad. Camera all crazy. But yeah, we just made the best out of that situation or what it have you. Um and that was that. Like I said, it was no more drama. We just got through the trip. Um, no more arguing or whatever. It is what it is. Um we've actually been home for a week now. I'm, I know I'm uploading this so late. And of course, I have not reached out. She has not reached out. Dad is dead. Uh, that that whole friendship is deceased. It, it's in the ground, honey. So, but it is what it is. I feel like even though it was a messed up situation, I do feel like it had to happen um, in order for things to play out like it was. Because it's like we've kind of been teeter tottering around this stuff and playing this game for a while. And so, with everything that had took place, it needed to happen so that we both can move on. And it, it opened up my eyes to where I stand. It's crazy that you actually will be around somebody who you genuinely think cares for you and is your friend when the whole time they're harboring nothing but hate because during everything that was said, that was pure hate that was coming out of my ass. Like I said, I was all kind of ain't nothing person. Um... 
I was distant. I was everything in the book, honey. Just really shit to how I feel. So I feel like things had to get off the chest so that everything was out in the open. No gray areas on where the others stand. So, you know, everything is a learning lesson. Everything is a learning lesson. And sometimes when things happen, you know, we kind of overlook things. And it takes something dramatic as hell to happen for you to really wash your hands of a situation. I feel like that's what happened. But all in all, life goes on. You know, you just continue to move on with your life, honey. I don't have time to stress about nothing. So, it is what it is. Um, I just want to come on here and close out the vlog because I left y'all hanging on this last clip. Um, I guess I'm going to insert some pictures um from the trip i don't know uh i guess i'm gonna do that um like i said i hate that i was unable to really vlog for y'all and i am sorry um we are planning on doing a trip a family trip me robin and the boys um in july so i definitely plan on vlogging that one and i know that one is going to be a much better experience but again i'm sorry that i could not give y'all the whole little experience like i had planned but you know life happens so i love y'all make sure you like comment subscribe and i'll catch y'all on the next video bye